greeted to you, my students and my prospective students. My name is Jide Oni Charles. My name is Jide Oni Charles, not my name's Ah. You don't say my name's Ah. When you say your name's Ah, you are saying that you have different identity tags, different tags of identification in different locations, meaning that you have some criminal tendencies. So my name is Jide Oni Charles, your lecturer in corrective professional use of English. This is a BA degree program. So we are the last, this is the last lap of mispronunciation implications. So we are already through with the first two parts. This is the last part. So let's quickly round up today. So we have for the last part some words that are wrongly pronounced. They are wrongly pronounced. So first in the list is the word prejudice. Prejudice. It's not prejudice. Prejudice. There's kind of a settled opinion about something or somebody with a kind of biased mind, somebody with a kind of bias that can eventually affect the judgment, true judgment. That word is pronounced prejudice, not prejudice. And we have uh, rescind, rescind, R-E-S-C-I-N-D, R-E-S-C-I-N-D. That's another, that's a synonym for repeal, to repeal a law, to stop, to put an end to a law, to rescind, not rescind, 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 R-E-S-C-I-N-D. Next is the word sever, that's S-A-V-O-U-R, sever, 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 that's to enjoy, you know, to enjoy food, for example, to enjoy food by eating slowly, that's to sever it, to enjoy it, tasting it with gusto, with you know, air of enjoyment. So that's several. We have a word here. This one can be confused with another word close to it. This D-A-I-R-Y. D-A-I-R-Y. That word is pronounced dairy. 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 That's something having to do with milk products mixed products or the farm, where you know, cheese, butter, and the rest are produced. So we have that dairy, can I talk of dairy products. So we have dairy shop, something like that. So there's another one that, you know what, can become confused. I don't know what that can be confused with this. That's D-I-A-R-Y, that's diary. Diary, kind of a book containing records, daily records of events. Diary. Diary, D-I-A-R-Y. Diary, diary, D-A-I-R-Y. D-A-I-R-Y. Diary, milk products, milk, butter, cheese, and the rest. Then that's dairy, things having to do products, food having to do with milk, you know, that's, uh, things like butter, cheese. Then the record. Daily record of events. That's D I A R Y. D I A R Y. That's diary. Why D A I R Y is diary. Next is the word S E R E N E. S E R E N E. That word is pronounced serene. 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 Meaning calm. Absolute complete calm. Serene. 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 The S E, the E, you no, know, that follows the S is sure. It may be E, 
Eh, son, it's the rain, it's the rain. It is the rain that is stressed. This can be contrasted with siren, siren, that's S-I-R-E-N, siren. That's kind of a mechanism, you know, that sounds, that gives sound on a ambulance or police van and the rest. That's siren, that's siren, siren. Then from serene, serene means calm. While this is siren, siren, not siren, not siren. It's siren, the sigh is stressed, siren. Then we have the word P-S-Y-C-H-E. P-S-Y-C-H-E. That word is psyche, not psyche. Psyche, psyche. Psyche, that's human mind. Human mind, that's psyche, human mind. So we have that. Next is the word O-R-I-F-I-C-E. Orifice, that word is pronounced orifice. Orifice, O-R-I-F-I-C-E, orifice. That's a kind of uh, opening or mouth of a very big hole. Orifice, orifice, not orifice. You have suffice, suffice, S U W F I C E. That's the verb of sufficient. Sufficient. This suffice, not suffice. Suffice. Suffice, suffice, that is just enough to do something. Next is uh, the word edifice. Edifice, not edifice. So there are some words. No, and in ICE. ICE may be pronounced as eyes or is. We have like office. Office is is. We have suffice, that's eyes. So we have that. Then we have sacrifice, that's eyes, sacrifice. Edifice. We have artifice. Artifice. A R T I F A R T I F I C E artifice. That's kind of a human skill, human contrivance. That is human uh, something done by human beings. That's artifice. From there we have artificial, artificial something that you no know, is made by that is human. You no. Know, uh, Human skill. That's the skill. Human skill is the real source of that particular you know, uh, contrivance. The contrivance is the you know, uh, artifice. Why we have the adjective artificial? Next is uh, the word. This we have about four of them that you know, uh, they share the same form. We have deserts, D-E-S-E-R-T-S, deserts. That's usually plural. There's S at the end. There's that plural marker S at the end. Usually, it's, it's no in plural form. Desert means what you deserve, what you merit, what you deserve. That, they, that, those are your you know, deserts. What you deserve you know, are your deserts. Then we have desert. Desert, D-E-S-E-R-T, it is the day that is stressed. That's harried land, dry land. Next is desert, that's a verb, to abandon somebody in times of need. Then we have a desert, meaning to deserve, you know, to, you know that desert, desert, that's to abandon somebody. Then we have a, a desert, that's D-E-S-S-E-R-T. D E S S E R T. Desert is also pronounced desert. 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 That's the cause of fruit taken after meal. The cause of fruits or light, you know, food taken after meal. Then we have the word D E P O T. That's depot. Depot. Depot or depot. Depot. A place we have, you know, we have like a warehouse where some things are stored. We have some consignments are stored. 
That's depo. That's depo. Next is the word, that one I have entered on this before, but we can still take it on. That's G-A-O-L. G-A-O-L is pronounced J, not Gao. It's J, prison. J, G-A-O-L. That's pure British you know, uh, spelling. You know, it's also J-A-I-L. So we have G-A-O-L, meaning J, J, not Gao. And the next is the word F-U-S-S. -S. A lot of people mispronounce this. F-U-S-S. A lot of people say, why are you making a fuse? Why are you making fuse over that you know, little, you know, little matter? It's not fuse, it is first. First. F-U-S-S is first. First. Don't make a first. Don't make a nice noise. Why are you so angry over little matter? That's first. First, not fuse. What is the fuse? Fuse. Fuse is F-U-S-E, that is kind of a mechanism, you know, that carries a fire to a bomb or so an explosive. That's fuse, fuse. But this F-U-S-S is first, first, unnecessary excitement. So we have that. Next is the word D-I-L-E-M-M-A. D I L E W M A. That one is not a dilemma. It's not a dilemma. It's dilemma. 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 Or dilemma. 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 Or dilemma. The A, the A at the end is a sure. Dilemma. It is led at the stress there. Dilemma. Dilemma. That is where we have two options that are unfavorable. You have to. <laughs> you don't know which one to, I know, to go for. So that's dilemma, dilemma. Nash is the word G-N-A-S-H. That's Nash, gnashing of teeth, not gnash. There's G at the beginning, but the G is silent. That's Nash, Nash. Next, next one is H-I-C-C-O-U-G-H. That one is not high cough. It's not hiccup. cough. It's hiccup, hiccup. So we have hiccup also, another, that's enough spelling. H I C C U P or H I C C U C A I C C O U G H. That's cup, you still cup, cup, hiccup. It's that kind of uh, chest movement, movement at the chest, it's temporarily stopping kind of breath, you know, with uh, some sounds being uh, made. That's hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. <coughs> That's just it. That's an example, example of hiccup. <coughs> Something like that. Next is the word finite. F I N I T E. Finite. Finite, that is something having a beginning and end. It's like when we talk of a finite verb. Finite verb. A verb that has tense and time. A sentential verb. It's the finite verb that has beginning of an action and possibly the end. There is time for it. Something that has time. That's finite. So, so there is time frame for that. That is finite. So we have that. Finite. A finite verb, for example, a verb that has sense and tense. That sentence. So we have it. Human beings are finite beings. We have beginning and end. So we have the opposite as infinite. We have the F, the finite part. It's only in that is at the beginning there. But still, the in added to the finite changes the old pronunciation. Instead of infinite, it is infinite. Infinite. That's endless. Beginningless and endless. God is the infinite. So we have that. So next one here is, oh, we are moving fast. The word S-E-V-E-R. S-E-V-E-R is sever, sever, not severe. To sever, to break up, to break. To sever, to sever relation, a relationship. That's sever, you know, sever, to break. And the noun of sever is severance, severance. So you shouldn't confuse this without to come with a uh, severe. Severe ends with uh, E, there's E at the end. And this reminds me of uh, 
the, this pair, 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 the pair of words. We have diverse and diverse. Diverse and diverse. Diverse, there's E at the end. Diverse, meaning different. Diverse nations, people. Diverse. By diverse. Diverse. Diverse, no E at the end. It ends with S. And that's many different, many different, diverse people, many different people. So we see there is something that sounds a bit uh, anomalous here. Something that you know, is a bit uh, you know, against uh, maybe logic. In English, the rule is that when we have S followed by E, that's the word final position at the end of word. The S tends to be pronounced as Z. We pronounce the S as Z, Z. So this diverse should be diverse. But in English, we have diverse. It is S sound. So that's why I say language, human language, especially English language, is arbitrary. You don't know. You know, something just been a rule, a rule, or a pattern which just been posed on the users. And you don't have to ask questions about this. So we have that. Then the diverse. Diverse, D I V E R S. That one, when the S is the last sound, the S, the last consonant there, you should pronounce S. S, S. But in this case, in the case of this diverse, it is pronounced Z, Z. Diverse, diverse, many different. Diverse, different, that's with E. So we have that. So the finite and infinite, we have that. Then uh, the server, sorry, we are on the server. Server, R is the last letter there. R is the last letter. So that's server. But when there is E at the end, that's severe. Severe, severity. Severity, that's the noun. Server, severance, that's the noun. So that's good. So we are making progress. Next word is M-I-N-U-T-E. If it's an adjective, 